Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all of my tips and tricks of self-tanning. I was never really that good at self-tanning, but I feel like I have mastered the art. First step is to always exfoliate your skin and shave your skin. I use these little gloves right here. These are from Eco Tools. You can get them at Ulta. I believe they're like five or six dollars. These are really easy to use because you're just using your hands to exfoliate your whole body. It's super easy, it's very effective. I usually do a little dab, just like a ee of like body wash, um, anything that I have laying around pretty much. Exfoliate all of my dead skin cells. So I use those to exfoliate and then I will shave pretty much my whole entire body because that's pretty much what I do except for my arms. I know some people wait like two to three hours until they self-tan after they shower and exfoliate or even a whole 24 hours, but your girl does not have time for that. So I pretty much jump right into self-tanning. Um, it works pretty fine for me. It doesn't really stick in my pores. It looks really flawless still. Before self-tanning, I always moisturize. I make sure to moisturize my hands of course because these are the, the driest part of my whole entire body are my hands like i swear i have 80 year old looking hands I use the nivea essentially enriched body lotion this is so good it's very lightweight it's very hydrating it's for dry to very dry skin i will rub some of that lotion on my hands um especially my knuckles and stuff in sometimes on my elbows if my elbows are feeling a little dry that's usually just in like the fall or winter and sometimes on like my i don't know like my ankles right here Ugh, don't look at my dirty feet Ew. like right here or like right here just like a light layer don't go crazy because you're gonna want self tan to stick there just not overly stick i use the fake bake flawless darker self tanner and on the plus side it comes with a mitt gloves you can't beat that. I think it retails for $32, and if you get it at Ulta, you can use the $350 off of five or, or 15, 15 or more. 15 or more, so it brings it down to like 30. The only difference with this is this is a spray. So if you're used to foams, this is gonna freak you out, because it freaked me out the first time I used it. I was like, ah, what do I do? Like, do I spray it on my body? Do I spray it on the mitt? Like, I don't get this. Like, I didn't get it. But now I love it. I'm so used to it. I feel like it's much easier to blend compared to some mousses out there. I'll always start from bottom and go up. I'll start off with about, like, four or five sprays for, like, each leg. And then if I feel like I'm missing a spot, I'll go back over to that leg. The mitt makes it super easy to blend out. As you can see, it just glides on. The tan itself will last about five to six days for me if I take really good care of it and if I don't, like, shave my legs over it. If I keep moisturizing after every shower and just don't, like, loofah the shit out of my skin, then my tan will last pretty long. For my hands, I'll use a old foundation brush. I'll spray some of the self-tan onto the brush directly, just like a tiny bit, and then I'll pat like the self-tanner into my hands and then just stroke it on. And I found that this way makes my hands look the most natural. If I use the mitt with my hands, I look like a hot freaking mess. Like I've never self-tanned in my life. So definitely try the brush root if you're having trouble making your hands look natural or even your feet. You could use this on your feet. Just wash it after. You can even use this to apply it to your face. I never apply self-tanner to my face anymore just because my skin has been crazy lately. It's super sensitive. I don't know what is the issue, but I usually sleep in it and ruin the bed sheets. If I'm not doing something for a day, I'll just do it in the morning, let it sit for like eight hours, and then I'll just shower it off at night. When I shower it off, I don't use any soaps. I don't even use soap on my face. I just use plain water. A little bit of like a guard will come off. That's not your whole self tan, so please don't freak out. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and give this video a big thumbs up. I really hope this helped you guys out with a few tips and tricks, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves!